My name is Gwen Wong. I'm from Augusta, Georgia, but I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma for a paint weekend. After graduating from Portfolio Center in Atlanta, Georgia with an illustration degree, I was trying to figure out what to paint. And my sweet little worm runner was in the room and I started painting her. And that started what we call the Bella series. And I painted Bella for nine years in different scenarios, doing almost childlike things. She lived with me for 13 and a half years. Three years ago, we lost her. And uh, I was really lost. And, um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Get a little teary. Um, trying to figure out something to paint. <laughs> Thought about not painting for a little while and started painting wildlife and that seemed to kind of bring it back together for me and that started me on a new path where I was re-examining the figure. Um, instead of using the dog as my figure I started using children. I really liked the analogy of how animals are very childlike in their innocence and in the way that they communicate with us. The first piece that I brought in was a piece called The Field. It was a multimedia piece done on watercolor paper, several varnishes, lots of stuff on it. Sold within the first week and um, it was just a really exciting time. I actually had a professional shot of that piece done and it was in Communication Arts for their illustration annual. So that was great. I think it's a little subconscious. Um, I think that I tend to have a little bit of a dark sense of humor. Not quite so lighthearted, but I do I would never classify myself as a dark person. Um, I like to have a little bit of edge in my pieces. I want to catch the viewers off guard. I would like for them to read in their own stories. I mean, I obviously have a story in creating my piece, and there's a message that, that I think I, I visualize pretty well. But as far as the viewer's experience, I want them to be able to find their own stories and find their own connection to the work. It's supportive and you get to bounce ideas off of each other, which is good. And sometimes you get mad at each other, which is not so good. But um, generally I have to say it's, it's a very good thing. Uh, we keep the same hours, we're both night owls, and um, we know each other's work very well. So we know that any kind of criticism comes, it's, it's completely merited. You know? So we try to listen and, and try not to take it too personally. Put in your hours, learn as much as you can. Uh, try to surround yourself with people who are supportive and can um, help you grow just not just as an artist but as a person. Um, I think it's important.